please welcome back to the mountain stage, Daryl Scott. Mm, there's no use living for today. No, there's no use living for today. Well, today was once tomorrow, and today's tomorrow's yesterday. There's no use living for today. Another great project. Long Ride Home. Where was this photo taken, by the way? My memory is that that's the Green River in Kentucky, yeah. and that's a boat, and so basically I'm at the back of a boat. You're riding a, take a look at this. It's a great photo. It's a, matter of fact, it's so good, I was wondering, did they touch this up? Is this Photoshop somehow? No, no. It's just uh, like a perfect photo. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> and you know, what's more, you know, I grew up with four brothers, I mean, I, there's so few shots yeah, of any of us with just <laughs> yeah. any, you know, any solo kid. And, and uh, I just thought, you know. Unbelievable, and, long and, ride home. And especially with the kind of record that it is, it's, a, it's kind of country music like I grew up on. Everybody needs some time away. Every once in a while, everybody needs a little bit of time away. She'll only be gone. For the weekend, but it feels like Sunday every day. Everybody needs a little bit of time, but need a little time away. Yeah. You know, I, I grew up basically, you know, in the 60s and 70s on country music, and my dad and mom, their era of country music was the 40s and 50s, and and I I, I knew their era era of music, country music too, because that's all they would play. Yeah, and uh, so. To me, it's like a yesteryear, uh, kind of where I came from, you know, my childhood. I am grounded, oh, but I have wings to fly, I don't use them. I just look up in the sky, I keep them hidden. Bound up in a coat and tie, till the world is ready for a man with wings to fly. Oh, but I will fly someday. I'll break these feet of clay. Yeah, and I'll be on my way, my way. What was, what was the, the kind in the 60s and 70s? Who were some of the artists that you, if your generation you were listening to as you grew up? Oh, because again, because my dad was into it. I mean, I, I listened to everybody from Hank Snow yeah. to Merle Haggard, of course, yeah. Hank Williams, Johnny Cash, of course. Yeah. Uh, even more, you know, different things like Dale Reeves or uh, Waylon. I was a huge yeah. pre-outlaw uh, Waylon fan. And I uh, had an older brother who was a, a Chet Atkins guitar style, so I knew all the Chet records. Uh, yeah. And uh, I mean, we were a country music family, but we, you know, we weren't on the Opry or anything like that. We were just, you know, fans out in, um, you know, we, we were up in northern Indiana, but my family's from Kentucky, and we were just like a lot of families who just love, love music. Yeah. And that, that was us. Oh, but I will love someday. I will break this heart of clay. Yeah, and I'll be on my way, my way. Oh, I will fly, I will fly someday. You know, uh, two of these songs were when I, was, I wrote when I was 16 wow. with my dad. Uh, so, um, I mean, they go that far back. And one weekend, uh, my dad rented a cabin up in Big Bear. California, and uh, it's just the two of us went up there uh, strictly to write songs. And uh, as a, I was 16, and and those two songs are on here. Wow. So I kind of really reached back. So it's, it's that's why I put the you know the childhood photo yeah. on it. And if you can't find work, work finds you. You know, Daddy didn't raise no welfare fool. Says there's a lot worse things a boy could do than straddling iron beams. I'll build this bridge till it's complete And I'll take these steel toes off my feet 
get myself a one-way seat on that train to Hopkinsville. You know, and some of these people, like uh, Charlie McCoy, mm -hmm. was playing on great, uh, great records through the 60s and 70s and 80s. At, on harmonica, um, yeah, which just well, you know, you know, Charlie's a big part of the West Virginia Music yeah, Hall of Fame. He's absolutely. in it, he's, yeah. and he was here for the last induction, and and in between, I was I was part of that too. So I was over here talking to him and working with the band. Then I had to go home, and I was looking for a, a finale song to do on Mountain Stage. I was going through some things, and, I, and up comes the boxer, and I said, "Wait a minute, that's Charlie playing that that bass harmonica on is the that boxer." Right? Yeah. And I said, "I know it is." And then I came back and said, "Charlie was like, yes, oh yeah, that was me." And I said, "That's, oh, that's amazing." Crazy. He goes. Well, I can't take any credit for it because Simon told me just what to play. <laughs> wow. I had yeah. no idea. I mean, I knew he did yeah. other things, Dylan he did all and kind of Cat stuff. Stevens yeah. or whatever, <laughs> as, as well as all the country music. Uh, he played on the boxer. What That's a character. Crazy. Yeah, I'm going back to Hopkinsville. I'm going back to know I will. All the 21 working days until I'm with my love in Hopkinsville. That's right. Yeah, I wanted that sound because the, they were making the sounds that I grew up on. I mean, when I listened to country music in the 60s and 70s and it was piano, there was a really strong chance it was Kate Robbins. Uh, if it was harmonica, you knew it was Charlie. Yeah. Boy. yeah. Lloyd Green on pedal yeah, steel, steel right? you know. And uh, so when Pig was at the session, I said, what was the first hit you played on? He said, uh, White Lightning by George Jones, <laughs> 1957. I mean, that's how far back these guys go. They're in their 70s now, they still play their butts off. They're oh, yeah, great. Oh yeah, sounds great. This, this stuff doesn't sound at all like anything that isn't absolutely contemporary. It sounds yeah. absolutely like right up to date, and yet the depth of the, of the experience is pretty astounding. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's what I was trying for. By calling, you know, I knew these songs were, you know, real country. That I knew that, and what I wanted to do was record them in a way that sounded like what I remember hearing stuff, you know, from being a kid. Hey, I'm going back.